This is the beginning of the, the week of Christmas as we join together in prayer, which you know is a stressful week. Perhaps it's a rushed week. It's a week that might bring challenges that um, we're unaware of. It might bring situations and people into our life or back into our life that we're not used to being around each day of the year and all of a sudden we're together with them in a relatively small space. There's expectations. There's a lot of things that Christmas brings that it would be good for us to begin this week by breathing and for asking God for his help. And the focus of this time together is that we have a God who gets it, who understands you, a God who gets me. Let's pray together. Oh God, I thank you that you are the God became a human being, fully God and yet fully human, so that people like me could understand that you really do know what it's like. Thank you, God, for understanding. Now I'm going to ask you to think of what your, your key emotion is or your key uh, feeling is, what's on your mind right now. And I'm going to ask you to just put that in God's hands with the realization that he knows what it's like to be human. He knows what it's like to be tired, to be stressed, to be taken advantage of, to be rushed, to, to be pressured, to have fears of failure. God knows it all. He was a human being. He had colds. He had um, headaches. He felt weak. He gets it. Whatever it is, tell God about it in these few moments together. Just tell him, see yourself placing it in God's understanding hands right now. Do you feel anxious today? God understands that. Do you feel the demands of time? The demands of trying to get things done? Packages wrapped, last minute presents purchased, things baked. Feel the pressures of maybe eating too much, eating the things that you shouldn't, and you're worried about that, you're concerned. Do you feel depressed this season? Do you feel misunderstood? Do you feel the unkindness of people in this season? If you do, Place it in the hands of a God who gets you and understands. It's going to be okay. Because with the understanding of God also comes the first-hand knowledge of what you need to make it. It's going to be okay. Breathe and relax. 
in God's presence. There was a plastic surgeon, a Dr. Maxwell Maltz, he since has passed on, but one day in his writings he told the story of a of a man whose face had been badly disfigured in a fire and he felt so embarrassed about the way that he looked that little by little he just began to spend more and more time in a, a room of his house that he would lock the door and wouldn't allow anybody to come in including his wife because he just was so embarrassed about the way that he looked and his wife felt so bad about this and the man would not allow himself to be seen or even treated by anybody because that would mean that he would have to go out into public and he was just convinced that nobody could help him in his condition. And finally, out of desperation, his wife went to see this renowned, world-renowned doctor in New York City and began to tell him of her husband's disfigurement in his face and he said with confidence I know I can help him I've helped many in his situation and the woman broke down and said but my husband will not come to see you he's convinced that nobody can help and he doesn't want to be seen by you or anybody else and then she said here's what I want to ask you doctor true story she said doctor disfigure my own face so that my husband will know that I know what it's like and that he will accept me back into his life. And the story goes on that the, the doctor, of course, refused to do that, but he was so moved by this request that he went to the house and through um, talking behind a closed door. The, the husband was, was on the other side of the door through, uh, through several minutes of the doctor talking to this man and actually telling this man of what his wife was actually suggesting. This man was so moved by her love that eventually he came out of the room and eventually went to the doctor's office and allow the doctor to help him, which the doctor did. But why I tell you this story is because this week of all weeks is the reminder that we have a God who disfigured himself by becoming a human being. Putting himself in the body of a human being was disfigurement to a God who is all beautiful and, and majestic in his being and he becomes a human being and is subject to all the things that we have to go through. And why? So that you and I would know that he gets it. So that we would trust him so that every day, but especially this week, that we would be reminded that the God of Christmas is the God who understands and that we could pray confidently this week and put all of the things that we're going through into his hands and know that he understands. Let's close with this prayer. God, help me now to breathe and relax and know that you know and that you understand that I'll be okay this week with whatever I'm facing because you get me. Thank you, oh Jesus, for being the God of Christmas, the God. Jesus' name.